Welcome to Next Steps. We present a locomotion planning approach with the following key features. Firstly, an approach which is robust to external disturbances. Secondly, an approach which can vary key gate parameters on the fly. These include the number of footsteps per minute, the duration the robot has four feet in contact, and the swing height. Why is this challenging? Locomotion is a mixture of continuous and discrete optimizations, which are non-convex and non-linear. However, trajectory optimization often uses predetermined and constant contact schedules to simplify the optimization. RL instead bakes in gate parameters, and these are difficult to alter once trained. We address these limitations by learning a generative model over locomotion data. This creates a structured latent space and enables detection and mitigation of disturbances. Specifically, we use a variational autoencoder or VAE to create our structured latent space, which acts upon the robot state. The VAE is trained exclusively with synthetic data, and once trained, we inject a drive signal which overwrites a single latent variable to provide control over the robot's gate. Here we show the latent space which has become disentangled into just two dimensions. The robot's footstep length is aligned along the vertical axis, while the robot's footstep height is along the horizontal. We exploit this structure by injecting a sine cubed oscillation drive signal into the latent space. The drive signal's amplitude and phase provide continuous control over the cadence, full support duration, and foot swing height. Now we demonstrate continuous gate variation by modulating the signal. We now repeat the experiment showing the robot being steered whilst we alter the trot gate characteristics using the drive signal. We now show a similar run where the robot tracks a square path around our lab. The drive signal parameters are varied as the robot walks.
Since we're using a generative model in our approach, we can characterize disturbances as out of the distribution seen during training. To measure this, we use the evidence lower bound, which is recorded as the VAE planner is operating. Any disturbance of the robot will cause a spike in the elbow. The VAE planner subsequently increases the robot's cadence as an automatic response to the disturbance. Please note the push broom in the upper right hand corner of the robot image. The robot has now been pushed by the push broom quite severely. This has caused the elbow to spike above a predetermined threshold. Next, the VAE planner halves the swing duration to aid in recovery from the disturbance. This is inspired by studies into human locomotion, which report that an increase in cadence is a recovery response to both push and trip incidents. The robot recovers, and this usually takes between three and four steps. The swing duration here is still reducing to a recovery value of 125 milliseconds. Now the robot has recovered successfully, the swing duration is increasing back to 250 milliseconds, its normal value. Similarly, the elbow loss will return back to normal. Next, we show the elbow loss while the robot is pushed and recovers as described. Please note that not all disturbances are significant enough to require a recovery response. Only disturbances which are large enough to surpass the threshold cause an increase in cadence. Thank you for watching.